Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Vegas vlog. Please excuse that behind me. I'm gonna clean up after I film. I should have done it before. Anyways, I'm sorry that I've not been posting very consistently. As you'll see in the next couple videos, I've been traveling a lot. I went to Vegas this vlog and then I like, came back and I went on a girls weekend to celebrate one of my friends and then the following weekend after that I went to Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. <laughs> so it has been a very busy May, June for me which is why I'm a little behind but here we are. So today I'm going to take you through my Vegas trip filming this intro because Vegasly, I didn't feel like introducing it apparently. But basically, the reason why I decided to go to Vegas is that my dad goes almost every single year to a trade show. He's been going it since I was a kid. And when I was in university, he started taking my mom along with him. And then the pandemic happened, and this was the first year that he was going back. And it might be his last, depends on people that he goes with, if they're going to return or not. But because it might be his last one, he decided to meet, to invite me and my brother along, just because he had the ability to bring us along. And I am very lucky and privileged that I am able to work remotely. So that is what I did. I decided to go down and work remote. That way I could be able to go to Portugal and then also Montreal. It was definitely difficult working remotely, which is definitely something I've learned and will consider in the future, but I'm still very happy and fortunate I was able to go. So the first couple days while we were there, my dad was busy doing all the conference stuff and my brother has been doing some stuff for my dad's company so he was going to a couple of meetings and stuff so that's why the first couple of days was kind of just me my mom and then near the end of the week he was done with his conference and he was just working remotely so that's why we were able to do more stuff as a family i think that's the explanation first time going to vegas with my family so let's get into it he's vlogging Okay, quick room tour. We come in, here's the bathroom first. The bathroom is really nice. You have the toilet, the big mirror, and the shower. And then you go around. And here's a little, a little room, our two beds, the desk TV mini bar, and then here's the view. You can literally see the whole entire strip, all the different hotels, and all the pools. Woo! Viva <laughs> Las Vegas! <laughs> Hello friends! I don't think I've really talked. We did our little like room tour and stuff. I will do a better intro on another point explaining like what's going on but yeah we're in vegas it's night one and i'll show you my outfit i'm gonna go back and i'll come close here's the outfit so i got in this shirt that i got for uh, it was a birthday birthday party contender and then i tucked it into this like faux so it's her skirt. I'm trying to talk quick. I've worn this a bunch of times before. The skirt and the shoes are Target. This is probably the fanciest that I'm going to be the whole entire trip because we're going to this one restaurant that my dad is hosting a party later this week and he wanted to just like check it out because he's never been there before. And apparently it's like nice. So that's why we're looking like this. You never need to tell me twice to dress up. But yes, I got to go. So I'll talk to you later. Hello and good morning, friends. Well, it's not really morning, it's almost noon. I thought I would come on and say hi. I'm sure I'll do like a separate intro because at this point I didn't really do one. 
and I explained why I'm here for my dad's conference, yada yada. One of the reasons why I was able to come on this trip is because I decided I would just work remotely. So that's what I was doing this morning. I got up around 7.30. I mean, actually I was kind of like waking up before that, around like five o'clock, I was kind of awake. So from like five to seven, I was kind of like, kind of sort of awake. You know, when you wake up and you like roll back over and go to sleep, that's what I was doing. Yes, and then I woke up, started working, had a shower i decided to order room service this morning which i showed you just because i took like a shower and i didn't feel like taking time to like take a shower and then also go downstairs with my wet hair and get food we're staying at resorts world las vegas which is like the hilton conrad big thing so they don't actually do hotel room service what they do is if you order through grubhub which is the like american version of skip the dishes you can get it delivered straight to your room so i just picked one of the places i solely picked it because it offered both tea and food a lot of the places like either didn't have any beverages or they didn't have tea so anyways that was my decision i also wanted some fruit so i got the little mini pancakes they did the job and i did some work and then i just got dressed i'm wearing nothing fancy technically i wore this yesterday when we just had, uh when we just had lunch but yes got my black tank top oops you can see the deodorant stains and then we got on some shorts so yeah i'm gonna eat lunch with my mom my dad and brother are doing some conference stuff and then i'm gonna come back do a little bit more work before we go and do some afternoon adventures so yeah let's go get some lunch hello friends it's day three <laughs> i had to think for a second it's day three i had a meeting this morning i was gonna say early morning meeting but it was technically at night, which is noon back home. Yeah, I had a meeting this morning. Now I'm gonna go downstairs and get some lunch. We're going out. Let me show you my outfit real quick. The lighting is terrible in this mirror, but yes, we got on this cute little skirt I got from Aerie. I think this t-shirt's from Joe Fresh and then my sandals. These are technically Skechers. So yes, this is just the outfit just to go get lunch uh, and then I'm going to come back to a little bit of work before we go and explore later this afternoon. I thought I would set you up so you can watch me while I get ready. Sorry if it's echoey, we're in the bathroom. I realized I was like, oh, we're going to go get lunch and then I literally got no clips of lunch. I cannot remember what I have or have not told you guys of this trip. I'm just going to operate under the assumption that I haven't told you much and then just chit chat and i'll cut out whatever i have already mentioned there is a bunch of restaurants here so that's kind of what we've been doing for like breakfast and lunch so we've just been getting it here because it's a lot easier and more convenient i have this really interesting like food court area so you can like order a bunch of different stuff but it's like a nice food court like the chicken for the chicken that we got yesterday was like what's his name Wilson. I forget his first name, but like he's on like Food Network and stuff. So it's like a nice food court, not like your New York fries. Taco Bell situation. Yes, I think yesterday I mentioned that we went to the wind. I could be wrong. So we walked around there and then we also were really close to one of the big malls, the fashion mall, fashion show mall. I think that's what it's called. So that's what we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. and then we came back here we weren't sure if my dad was going to meet up with us for dinner or not and we went to a mexican restaurant that is by ray garcia he's a pretty big name yes and it was delicious like actually really good food because sometimes you're just like yeah that was like good mexican food because like if it's fresh or whatever then you're like good but like this was good Mexican food. I got the shrimp tacos. No, I think it was just fish. And then my mom and brother split the skirt steak and a salad. Oh, and it was so good. And then we also got dessert too. It was all so, so yummy. And then for lunch, we just went to, because my dad was like in the food court area and he said it was really busy with all the show people. So we just went, come on. There was a little black dog underneath my eyes. We just went to the restaurant that was right beside the pools and that was really nice. I had like a taco salad, had some vegetables. <laughs> and then yes, I finished up work and now 
we're gonna head out and do check out a couple more hotels my dad really wants to go to the paris because he really likes this one restaurant so we're gonna save that i think today we're definitely gonna go to the venetian we might save the bellagio as well for when he is available because after today is conference done yeah we're definitely gonna go to the venetian and then i think we're gonna go maybe to another one we'll see we're gonna go to the guy fieri restaurant which is in the links link l i n q link it's owned by caesar's palace so we're gonna go there for dinner because it's like casual and i love guy fairy so we thought it would be fun american food not too expensive and we still need a book i know we definitely want to see our cirque du soleil cirque du soleil show and we still need a book that i don't know one we're gonna do okay i'm just gonna speed through me finishing my makeup Good evening. I think I talked to you guys in the next Hexen spot yesterday. So for today, we're gonna get I'm ready together. What did I do today? Well, same as usual, I worked in the morning. My brother got me breakfast. I had a meeting today at 10, 10. Yes, because it was one Eastern Standard Time. And then I had lunch with my mom and brother. And then they decided to go vintage slash antique shopping. And actually they left quite late. I probably could have gone with them, but my dad was finally done working and he just wanted a chill day. So like, sorry, he wasn't done working. He's still working, but he's done his conference. Oh, I just removed my makeup and I wanted with my cleanser. I have a mini of the one I use at home. It was just easier to do it all at once. But I was saying my dad and I decided to go to the pool instead of going antiquing, just like sit and chill out for a bit because I hadn't really sat by the pool except for the first day. So yeah, that's what I did. I think they said it was pretty good. My brother got a shirt for himself and one for his girlfriend and he also got me a shirt. I can show it to you. It's $5, such a good price. This is their shirt. Like I said, a little sublime. Crop top. My skin has not been happy. I don't know what it is. Might be one of the sunscreens. Definitely a lot of breakouts. I think it's like finally starting to settle down, but now I've got a bunch of like scarring because of it. Anyways, like I was saying, what we did today is that once my mom and brother came back and me and my dad were done in the sun, we went over to the Paris. This was actually a recommendation from one of my friends would come last year. She said there's this beer garden called the Beer Park that is 
right across from the Bellagio so you can like walk through the Paris and stuff and then you can see the Bellagio's like water fountain show from the patio of the ballpark. We went there and it was pretty good and the food for Vegas standard pricing wasn't that bad. Like obviously it's a lot of money compared to everywhere else but it wasn't too bad. And yeah, we just decided to come back. My brother and I did a little bit of gambling. I lost all my money. I didn't even gamble that bucks much. I gambled like five bucks. My max for this whole entire trip is $20 because I'm just not that interested and I'm not that skilled. So. Face is all wash. I'm gonna brush my teeth and go to bed. See you guys tomorrow. lighting it so bad. I wasn't sure how it was going to look. It's not bad. Instead of being in my echoey bathroom, I thought we would do a different spot. It's Friday evening. Um, here I am in my room. I don't feel like. <laughs> I don't really feel like going out. I think my brother and I are going to go out tomorrow. Honestly, I was just really tired today. I think it was just... I found this week to be very long and tiring in general. I think because trying to fit in both a full work day and also a full day of like activities in one day. So it's been tiring. Today was more of like a half day or three thirds day, we'll say. <laughs> I finished a little earlier, but we had lunch here at the hotel and then we went shopping. We're very close to the big mall it's called Fashion, Fashion Shows. Fashion Show Las Vegas is the name of it. It's like a big mall and they got a bunch of different stores and stuff. We are looking around and we got a pair of shoes. You probably can get these in Canada. I I was like looking online and like the pricing is like kind of saw the same, but I didn't see this colorway a lot in Canada. So I decided to pick them up. These are the New Balance. And if you can hear it, there's like screaming men. These are the 574. Ta-da! What a, what a thing to buy sneakers in America. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely needed a new pair of running shoes just because my current Adidas, Dan Smith, I really do like them, but they're just like, the support is just like not the greatest anymore. And your girl has some hip issues. <laughs> uh, and I just have a lot of like walking coming up. I'll be walking and standing a lot in the trail. And then also just the summer at work, I'll be doing some walking. So I thought it'd be nice to get like a sneaker because I think I have like more like running shoes. But yeah, I thought these were really pretty. I'm so curious when I'm editing this if I'll be able to hear it in the background. I think it's through the fence, like either below or below me, below me, above or below me. Yes, one of the things I was going to update you guys on is that it's Memorial Day weekend that we're here and it's like, it's crazy. The demographic switch, the beginning of the week was obviously like the conference, so it was like a lot of older people, everyone's in suits, and then like today it was like they all checked out and then all of the young people checked in and like I was just, I just texted my friend being like oh my god I feel kind of old because like they're not my age they're younger <laughs> like these like college graduation is like happening like just happened in the states so I feel like a lot of them are like new college grads who are like this is their celebration trip it's that they're here for memorial day so there's a lot of like young 20 somethings like it's just a lot <laughs> and so the hotel is packed full of them so i don't know like i like going out but like going hard and just like the level that like the like girls are dressed I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah, I did not come prepared. 
because before when me and my brother were talking i asked him i was like are we gonna like go out and party and he was like nah so i didn't really park pack all party clothes and now he's like yeah I'm like let's go I'm like you can't you can't do this to me i can't wear this to the club <laughs> anyways i just got distracted so yeah i can definitely hear some like frat partying i they're probably preying in their room anyways we did our shopping the other thing i was gonna say is i was trying to look for some cowboy boots because like we're in the southern states there's like a decent amount of stores and stuff um i didn't realize this until i started trying on the cowboy boots but i do not have the foot nor the calf for cowboy boots i got big caps like i need like i need wide i've always been like a wide like whenever i wear boots i've got a wide foot and i've got a high arch and a high instep which basically means it's impossible for me to find shoes especially like women's i'm already at the top i'm near the tip top so it's not like i could just like you know size up when i already wear like a nine nine and a half <laughs> so, um we tried not not successful i did not get any cowboy boots but at least i got a pair of sneakers i don't think i showed you guys it's over there i don't feel like picking it up now but the other thing i bought was a ferrari hat because there was a lot of like formula one stores here uh, like merch stores i guess because like they had vegas last year and they're gonna have it again so yeah so i got a ferrari hat that i'll wear for montreal and then, yeah i got my shoes my brother got me my sublime shirt and i got a real technique sponge i think you can see this little orange thing they sell them individually here and i find usually like back home that was in two packs and much cheaper that is what i bought i didn't buy a lot of stuff but you know a couple a couple new little things and then tonight we went to Cirque du Soleil saw Mystere which was in Treasure Island and we really enjoyed it it was really really good the stuff they do is absolutely incredible yeah highly recommend and then we're back it's like just past nine and I think I'm just gonna wash my face and get into bed because I'm tired and I think the plan is that we're gonna go tomorrow night and I just don't think I can do two nights in a row of like bra bra partying, especially after waking up early and working today. But yeah, my brother just went down to the casino floor because he he loves it. But I don't have any more cash, so I spent my cash, lost my cash on my shoes, so no more gambling for me. The most I won was two dollars, and then I just spent it so tomorrow is the final full day so we'll see you tomorrow And now present Leah is here to sum up the last day because I didn't really do it and then also do the outro. So on our last day, we went to the pool a little bit in the morning and then we decided to go to In-N-Out for lunch. This was like one of the things on the top of my list because there is no In-N-Out in Canada and actually I don't even think it's on the East Coast of the states because i've been to like the east coast it was just really good i mean it's like a a fast food burger but it was very good it's a fast food burger and then from there we walked over to the bellagio and just walked around it they have a really pretty botanical gardens inside of the hotel and they had just switched around the display that's why we had to wait until saturday because it was closed up until saturday so we went I walked around there and then we came back to our hotel we changed and we went to dinner in our hotel at the italian food restaurant and it was delicious i think you kind of saw 
we had a lot of food on our table we kind of decided to do more like family style where we ordered a couple of things and just like shared all together and then after dinner my brother and i went out actually inside our hotel they were doing a bunch of stuff for memorial day weekend so they had dj snake in our hotel and i actually do know dj snake I have now a couple of the songs so I was like oh that would be fun and because we were staying in our like since it was in our hotel we were able to get in for free and my brother signed up for like a guest list I think he did <laughs> I think he signed us up for the guest list so we were able to get in very quickly no problem I had a lot of fun kind of before a minute he was doing a lot more of like DJ songs I don't know if that makes any sense like mixing actual songs and then after midnight he kind of turned much more into your like edm rave music i enjoyed both i was having a very good time i also have a very um large and broad music taste so like i knew a lot of the songs and i loved that I was in our hotel because then i was able to just like leave when i wanted to and i was like cinderella i think just quarter after midnight i Loved, went upstairs and I got ready because our flight was at 11 the next day, 10, 11 or something like that. We had to be like up, not super early, but like at a decent time and I saw the pack. So I didn't want to be out really late. So yeah, came back to my room and then we took the plane and we got home. Our flight got delayed and then our baggage took forever. I think we were in a baggage claim for like over an hour and a half it was just like really delayed and stuff i guess a lot of flights were coming in but yeah that was our vegas experience if you have any questions please leave them down below i'll try and put in the description like all of the names of all the restaurants and places that we went to and yeah if you have any questions i'd be happy to answer them like this video if you want to see more travel vlogs from me I do have, it's not necessarily going to be a vlog, but I'll definitely be doing like a chat about my experience going to Montreal on the Grand Prix, so stay tuned for that. And then getting back into regularly scheduled content, I guess. I definitely want to do a products empty because I have so much and just like regular summer vlog content. So please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of that. I can't even remember my outro been so long i think it's that's it for today's video friends i hope to see you in another one super soon bye